Oh, this is so weird. Um, hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm finally starting. I've been wanting to start for a while now. Um, well, obviously, it's like one of those things where you just kind of like I've always been wanting to do. I'm sorry, my stereo is like really high up. I'm just realizing this. Anyway, um, yeah, so I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel just because, you know, you always watch YouTubers and you're like, oh, well, I want to do this. You know, it looks really fun. But today is... I mean, this year is the year, and today is the day. Um, yeah, I just want to, I don't know, document my life and romanticize it so that I can have fun actually, like, living it, you know? Today, this is going to be just, like, a vlog. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep it for the rest of the week. It's Tuesday today, January 3rd, and I woke up today, and I realized that The Stolen Air by Holly Black is releasing today and I totally forgot about it because I thought I put it in the calendar and I guess I didn't or I put it in the wrong day because I didn't have it on my calendar and I was like oh my god it comes out today I just realized that while I was getting ready and it was perfect because my friend just gave me a Barnes & Noble's gift uh, this morning because she gave me her um, late Christmas gift and that was part of it and it was perfect it was just perfect um, so yeah I went to Barnes & Noble's this is a haul. This is the first part of the video, I guess. A haul. Um, so obviously, I got this stolen air by Holly Black. Oh my god! I couldn't find it for the life of me because I thought they were gonna have a table of it, like they did when like um, it start it starts with us. It starts with us came out. Um, there was like a table full of it, like right by the door, because like they knew, like you know, everyone's been anticipating it. But I thought it would have the same for this book, but. Um, I guess not, uh, or I was just too early, but I could not find it for the life of me. Um, I went to the customer service and like asked them, oh, I'm looking for this one. It's releasing today. And she had it like right by her table, like a copy. This is the copy right by her table. So she gave it to me. And then literally like two seconds after that, I walk around in the fantasy section where I was looking and I found it there. I felt like a stupid idiot because it was right there and she was probably like this <laughs> but yeah, the important thing is that I found it. I haven't actually looked at the actual naked cover, so... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's blue. Oh, yeah, this is pretty. I'm so excited to read this. I'm not going to read this at work because usually I read a book at work when it's not busy. But not for this book because I really want to savor like every page. So I'm going to wait until I get home. So, yeah. So I got other two... Two other books. I got this one, The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. And um, I really want to read Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves, the duology. But I saw somewhere that if you don't read like this series first before the Dance of Thieves duology, you're going to be confused in like the first half of the Dance of Thieves book. So I'm going to read the this series first. It's a trilogy. But yeah, this is, um, what is it called? The remnants chronicles or something like that but yeah so i'm gonna read this hopefully soon um oh it's it's right here in the back so this is the duology and then this is the series before the duology so yeah and then another thing i got is letters to the lost this is a really nice cover um it's like a it looks like it, it would be a graphic novel but it's not uh, oh the the font is really big and like the spacing this is gonna be great okay so i think okay this is ya um i got this because sunny from sunny kim sunny kim on youtube recommended it i've been really liking ya recently just because i read the, the way i used to be um like last month on december and i loved it so much obviously that one is gonna be a little bit heavy on the topics that it talks about compared to probably this one but i'm not sure because i don't know what it's about i just i just saw her recommending many times so i was like okay i guess i'll get it but there's a car next to me and probably watching me talking to my phone it's so embarrassing but yes yeah, so that's what i got and I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna go to work like in like 10 minutes but yeah this is the first part of the video ah, i can't believe i'm actually doing this Hello everybody, I just got back. Oh, 
I do not know where to place my phone. I don't want to put it in the front because there's a car in front of me. <laughs> well, obviously, there's always going to be a car in front of me, but like somebody, somebody's in the car right now. But I just got back from work in my car again. Um, I love the sliding though. Um, got paint on me because I work at the art place. Anyway, yeah, so I can't wait to go home and just chill in bed because this is the perfect weather. It's like raining and it's cold and I brought Kiss of Deception with me to work but I didn't even have time to read it because it was kind of, it wasn't busy but I just had like things to do, you know? So I felt bad just sitting and like reading, like doing whatever I want if there's like other stuff that I need to do. So I couldn't get to read it but it's okay because I only had a three hour shift so I can have all my time to read later. Um, when I get home but I'm gonna grab food probably I'm gonna get pokey um, and then I'm gonna go home and just chill and I'll see you when I'm reading okay I am home and I have all this stuff and I came home with some packages so we're gonna figure this out I'm watching Rachel Catherine love her I have like a whole like playlist of like booktip stuff so <laughs> yeah let's do this oh i thought it was gonna fall yeah um just got home like a few minutes ago i just changed to house clothes because if you put your outside clothes when you're in bed no nah, no nah. i just ripped the bag Whatever. oh i need to cook this my friend got me this as part of the Christmas gift and it's from Daiso and they always have these like really long tags and I need to take it off because when I'm sleeping with them I don't want I don't want to feel the tag you know so yeah same with this actually now they're ready to be in my bed <laughs> they were already in my bed Okay, I'm done organizing all my stuff. I think I'm gonna put it right, right here. Let's see. Oh my god, this is so horrible. I don't even have my freaking box cut. No, we do. some lab goggles because I need it for my class for the upcoming winter. Oh, this is huge. <laughs> That's good. It, it feels nice like on the on the face. Yeah. So uninteresting. So I need this for my chemistry lab that I'm taking like literally next week. I go back to school next week. I don't want to talk about it. Another one. This is so big. I don't think it's like anything that big. Okay. First, oh, they only had two things in them. They're so big. I got this. It's Verse Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. Because I use this to get my makeup off of my face because the micellar, is that how I say it? Micellar cleansing water. Yeah, I used to use that one to remove my makeup for like waterproof mascara and stuff because um, regular mascara does not hold my eyelashes. So I used the waterproof ones and that would get it out. But now that I use um, the L'Oreal Telescopic, that one for some reason is harder to get out than my previous waterproof mascara. So. I can't use that because then I'll just keep rubbing on my eye and it's just too much work and also like irritating. So I use a cleansing balm instead. Um, I like this one. I just got it from Target. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there are other like better ones, but this is pretty good. It doesn't irritate me. Yeah, just don't get it in your eye, obviously. And then, oh, this is huge. 
I got like a lab notebook. This is for my chemistry class as well. Because, yeah, we had to get our own and there's not like a, a specific one that we could buy on the bookstore. So they just said as long as it's, it could be anything as long as it's um, bound, like spiral bound and it has like numbers like on the pages or something. So yeah. And now I can just chill and read. I'm gonna read this one now. I'm so excited, but I'm also like, really scared because I feel like I've held it up in such a pedestal because I love the original trilogy so far. I mean, so much. So I'm kind of scared. Oh my, the lighting is so bad. Oh, whatever. Honestly, I care, but like also I'm like, not. oh my God, why did it get darker? Okay, that, that's gonna have to do. How many pages are there? Probably like 300 something. But I wanna spoil myself, oh my god. Yeah, so it's 352, 52. Not including the acknowledgements. That's not bad at all. Um, I really wanna finish this. But at the same time, I wanna prolong it a little bit, you know? So we'll see, I'm, I'm gonna start now. I, I don't want to talk anymore. Warning, this is spoilers for The Stolen Air by Holly Black. <laughs> but this scene... I'm barely on chapter two, by the way. I'm, I'm like taking this very slow, you know, with a knight that was protecting him was like, next time you remember not to drop your guard, da da da. And then Oak says, my vanity took the worst of the blow. And then the knight says, worry about your pretty face. <laughs> and then he said, there's too little beauty in the world, says the prince airily, but that is not my area of greatest conceit. <laughs> what does it mean? Just kidding, we all know what he means. Okay, good morning. Day two, it's Wednesday. I need to get ready for work. I actually haven't decided my outfit, so we'll see what I wear. I didn't get much into Stolen Air last night, like this much into it. But I've, I've already tabbed a lot of it in the pages. Um, yeah, so I was in page 42. I, I was just gonna tab it, like, just use whatever color for whatever. Like, the tabs have no meaning, they're just like tabs that I went, that I annotated. But then I was like, no, I'm gonna tab it, like how I tab um, Shatter, the Shatter Me series. Um, so, like, each tab color has like a meaning. So that's what I'm doing. That's why it's taking me longer. Um, yeah, I haven't gone far into it, but I, I love it so, like, I love it so much already. But yeah, I'm gonna get up and make my bed and get ready and everything because I'm gonna be late if I don't do that now. <laughs> in the car now um, it's 11 22 and i have to be at work at 12 and it's pretty far um i'm gonna pick up my starbucks i got oh my god why is this so low don't worry i'm not on the streets oh my god the water anyway i'm not on the streets i'm at our like neighborhood but i'm gonna get my starbucks and then head to work and I don't know when I'll vlog again, but whenever that is, I'll see you guys. Back 
from Barnes and Nobles, I was there for maybe, I wanna say two hours or like an hour and a half. I was reading um, The Stolen Air. I'm about 30% in. As I said, I'm reading, I'm reading it very slowly just because I love Holly Black's writing and I love I love the world, you know. But I can't wait to see Judah and Carden. Oh my god, like every time they are mentioned, I just squeal because I miss them so much. Like and I I wonder how they are like right now in this in book. So yeah. And I actually also want to know like when the second book for um this duology is gonna come out because i haven't heard anything about it and i hope it's like within the next year you know so then it won't be too long because i'm enjoying it so much right now like i think it's gonna be a five stars like currently i think it's gonna be a five stars like i've enjoyed every single page like i'm so invested in the character oh my god i love it i love this i love this so much so far but i'm gonna go home and read more i think and clean up yeah i'm kind of tired though so we'll see but i do want to get up to a 50 percent mark today because i don't want to i don't want it to be like like i want to take my time with it but i don't want to i don't want to take too much time with it i don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see hello i am home as you can tell but i forgot to mention that i bought this It's a Van Gogh painting. I'm gonna put it at my wall over there because it's so empty wall. But yeah, I got it. I didn't plan on getting it. And I found out it was for sale at my work and I just got it. So I have this now. <laughs> hey. It is there now. I just use like literally push pins to like put them together. I mean, not put them together, put them up. So, I don't, I no longer have an empty wall. Hello, everyone. Oh, this is so weird. It's like super quiet. You can hear the rain a bit, but this is the third day. Yep, it's Thursday. I just got back home like a few minutes ago. Um, I went out with a friend to get brunch, da da da. But I forgot to update earlier because I was running late. So, yeah. But last night I finished 50% into the stolen air. As you can see, me. Ooh. Tabbed a lot, a lot. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I think the first reveal has been revealed, <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm like, f I think 49% into it or something like that. Like almost, like technically halfway. So I want to finish this today. Um, I do need to do some school stuff. Like I'm not back to school yet, but I go back to school Monday and there's some things that I need to do before like i actually go back to school on monday um for like labs and stuff like that so i do want to do that today and read and i think that's all and just like clean up my room but i like the setup right here because this is where all my books are so it's just like perfect and the lighting from my big window is like going straight to me yeah i'm gonna keep updating on this um I'll update again, maybe 75% into it, and then I'll update when I'm done. Hi everyone, I just finished. I, I am in shock. Like, I, I am actually in shock. Like, I, I am still processing this book. Can you, can you tell 
how much I loved it. This from the Taz, just from my reaction right now, I, I'm still processing the ending. Like I'm actually physically in shock. This is like, this is like the ending of Wicked King. That, like, I, I don't even know, like, okay. Let me compose my thoughts really quick. Okay, I think, I think I have some thoughts now that I can say, like, clearly. Um, this is obviously five out of five stars for me. Like, you can literally see all, how much I annotated it. Like, nobody's shocked. Like, of, of course I love this. I love the original series. Of course I was gonna freaking love this. But... I do want to say that if you're expecting to get more Jude and Carden in this book, that is not going to happen. They're mentioned like quite a few times. I have a tab. I have like a specific tab for Jude and Carden and this Cruel Prince and um, just like the Folk of the Air series in general, if they're being referenced. Um, and there's not, there's really not a lot of them. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I took out, I'm taking out the... What is this? I forgot what it's called. This cover. Because it's just messing with me. But okay. So you see how the color is like this pinkish color? If you look, there's not that much. And some of them are tapped as that color just because it made me think of like the Coral Prince series. Like it had like parallels, but it wasn't explicitly mentioned, if that makes sense. So yeah, if you're expecting to get more Jude and Carden out of this that's lower your expectations i'm i'm gonna say that maybe in the second book they're gonna be more mentioned but for this one it's they're not um like they're not actively present they're just like kind of like mentioned or like makes you think of like the folk of the air series but nothing like like them in action if that makes sense another thing though is that some of the reveals or twists i kind of predicted um but ultimately the in the end it still like shocked me if that makes sense like i'm not saying that the book is predictable in a way that it won't interest you and like keep you hooked throughout because it definitely did keep me hooked throughout like I've, i i want to say that i've been in a reading slump and been reading on and off but this is the only book that's that i've read recently that has like really like had me sit down and read a bunch at a time you know so yeah it keeps you entertained like invested in the characters um some twists you might predict but don't get like discouraged by that like the ending oh my god like please read this book obviously if you haven't read the original series read that and then read this book but oh my god I, like, I love it so much. I can't wait for the second book. I know the second book is going to be so good because that's when everything's about to go down. And, oh my god, like, I just can't wait. And I haven't heard anything, like, any announcement for when that's going to come out. Um, I've searched it up, like, literally, like, before I started filming this. And nothing has been announced, like, nothing at all. So... I hope she announces it soon. I, I need a release date at least, you know, so I can put it on my calendar because I need something about book two of this because, <sighs> I, yes, I'm so glad I finished it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read next because I'm kind of still in, obviously I'm still in shock about this. So yeah, I think I'm in the mood for fantasy still. I think I'm going to start the Akatar series actually. Um, just because I'm really like in a fantasy mood and I really I've been wanting to start that series and just like I want to keep the reading grind going if that makes sense and I know that will probably um keep it going just because I've heard so much like great things about it so yeah and then I think this will be the end of the of the vlog um I I started editing them already earlier and it's already in 20 minutes so that's a while 
Um, so good luck with me editing because I've never done this before. So yeah, and I know the lighting is really bad. I literally have my lamp like facing towards me so then you can somewhat see me like clearly. You can see the shadow because of like the light being like right here. But yeah, this is it. Um, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Even if you don't read books, if you're watching this and even if you don't read books, like if you watched it this far, you know. Or if you do read books, um, thank you for watching. You will see more book content from me. But yeah, I can't believe I actually did this.